Cancer. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello. My name is Christine. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Cancer Tarot reading. Cancer, love tarot reading. Cancer, love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Cancer love messages reading channeled, love messages from your person, messages from their higher self, their feelings for you, your feelings for them, what's on their mind, is anything happening, is anybody making a move, what's happening in the connection that's coming through here today, and who, who and what is here today. Let's take a look at the energy, Cancer. It's the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So somebody has, yeah, had some commitment issues. Quite literally, Venus and Scorpio energy. We're also seeing the Queen of Swords here. Interesting, Libra ruled by Venus. And the Seven of Cups is kind of feeling like a reversal for me, which is somebody who's getting some clarity, who's getting out of this energy of not knowing Maybe what they want or what decision to make, as my mom would say, wasting time farting around in this energy because the Queen of Swords is the truth. This is, this is the truth. It's Libra ruled by Venus. Libra is, of course, connected to truth. Balance and renewal, infinity here. Let's see exactly what this means, Cancer. I'm channeling for you in July 2024, and you could be here in real time. You could also be here many months, if not years later. This is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. So welcome again, Cancer. I'm really glad you're here. Let's take a look at this energy. Well, look at that. It's the Lover's card and the Three of Swords. Gosh, so this is somebody that somebody that you love that also loves you. Hearts were broken, I feel are broken. Is this person realizing some things? I kind of feel like they I feel like the clarity that they're getting is also coming around apologetic energy here with the three of swords. Saturn and Libra energy. And I'm also feeling this in the lover's card that they are regretting how they left things, how things ended, you know, around the breakup energy or why you are in no contact, no communication and or in separation. Because it's somebody who has made not only some bad decisions, but also didn't make other ones. And we could see that somebody in commitment issues in that Seven of Cups energy. The truth here, the Queen of Swords, Lover's card, is that this person loves you. And I do feel they're, they're, they're having some realizations here. There's some wake-up energy here about how they left things and the apology that you never got. Gosh, the Lover's card, of course, is connected to the Heart Chakra. It's Archangel Raphael, who just wants to heal what is broken. Archangel Raphael connected to the heart chakra, as well as the throat chakra I speak. Yeah. Is there any type of contact being made? It's not really clear. I kind of am feeling this energy of just going into their head. You know, what's, what's going on literally with their feelings? But let's see what else is coming through. Cancer, all your Zodiac readings are linked below in the description under playlists. You can also find it on the channel as well as, well, all 12 Zodiac signs. You'll also find all signs, tarot readings, as well as twin flame readings. If you're on a twin flame journey, I take really deep dives. So as I'm talking to you, do you hear what is happening with my voice? There is a blockage here. And I think this is definitely somebody who is both getting the clarity and the truth of their feelings and how things ended and how much they actually regret it and realizing 
Well, they're realizing it. There's a wake up energy. And I'm also feeling like they want to say these things to you. Will they? Have they? I don't know. Let's take a look at the energy that is coming in. Whoa. Yeah, Cancer. <laughs> this is somebody who's loving on you. Look, present moment, two of cups. This is your energy, Venus, and Cancer energy. So here's the thing. It is more validation for me that the separation is also still current, that you are either not talking and or not seeing each other, maybe both, or having complications with talking, whatever the case is. This person's throat chakra is blocked. Really blocked energy here because they are getting truth and clarity, literally. And it's like what I'm feeling is that they're choked up. They're choked up. My gosh, this person really loves you. Are they coming here with some type of proposal? It's not really clear. Two of Cups can be around proposals and it can be around really big stuff. We could be talking marriage here. And we are looking at present moments. So let's give it a minute because we already did see, of course, the Lover's card too. Wow. The Queen of Swords. And what came through for me, the Seven of Cups in reverse, getting the clarity, getting out of whatever they've been telling themselves, whatever their issues have been around this connection. It's the Three of Cups in reverse. That's more of your energy, Cancer. It's a validation that you're not communicating. There's other things that might be going on with your person. We're going to wait before we get into that. But this is divine number, divine timing, communication. It's the lack thereof, all of it. So was somebody ready? Somebody wasn't. Somebody was available. Somebody wasn't. Let's dig in some more. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see for Cancer Aho. Yeah, the Empress, hmm. okay. Cancer, stuck energy, they're definitely sorry. We saw that coming in with the Three of Swords and the Lover's card. The Three of Swords and the Lover's card, the apology that they're realizing they owe you, they're still realizing it, and why do they owe it to you? Well, look at this. So the death card, our major arcana here on the table, is connected to the third eye chakra. I see the awareness. It's the lack of that. This person has spent, I don't know how much time, kind of in denial perhaps, thinking like triggered, running type of energy, telling themselves whatever they're telling themselves. There's a wake up energy, the literal present moment of realizing that you're still connected and how they feel about you, that they love you still love you. Soulmate energy is off the charts. If you're on a twin flame journey, it's here. The Empress Divine Feminine Energy here in the partnership placement, it's in reverse too. And the Empress is connected to the heart chakra. I love. Also a very healing energy. And it's in reverse, and it's a divine number, divine timing, communication, growth. I mean, it's the lack of all of that here. And why? And look what's right below it. So this is the, the major arcana energy is intense. And this is the thing. They've been holding back emotionally, not being honest with themselves, not being honest with you. There's definitely an energy where they closed up. We're not communicating. The Empress has access to all the elements and it's in reverse. So it's like <laughs> access denied. You know, just the limited resources like not accessing that and it's here with the death card which is in reverse the empress by the way is also connected to the sacral chakra i feel so i feel and i love and, it, and it's this person who held it back because we know that they love you they were not they were breadcrumbing look they were being selfish they were not showing it at some point this person i feel ghosted and ran put you literally in, you could say, like a state of disrepair, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo and Mercury energy. 
And on their mind, which has been really clearly coming through as an apology, they're definitely realizing it and it's connected to all the energy. The stagnancy of them not, not, not even just hiding how they felt even from themselves. Our minor arcana energy of the Five of Cups in reverse, Mars and Scorpio energy, they're asking for forgiveness. They want to ask for forgiveness. This is somebody who didn't even think for a while that they needed it. I know that sounds weird, but part of that may be... Wait a second. <laughs> Why was I calling this the Five of Cups? Yeah, it's the Four of Cups. This is the Five of Cups, but it is here. Okay. It is bringing in that energy of other things going on, perhaps other contracts, giving to something else. The Six of Pentacles, it's in reverse. It's the Moon in Taurus. That's normally a reciprocal energy. This is a selfish energy, one-sided kind of you're giving, they weren't giving. I mean, it's just really clear. And here's the Five of Cups and it's catty corner with it. And this, they're missing you. This is regret. And it's exactly the energy that's been coming in that they're feeling. Okay. Look at this apology. It's just like, poo. Now it's the Ten of Swords in reverse. This might be the apology you've been waiting for, Cancer. What else we need to see? But this apology, the Ten of Swords, Sun and Gemini, is coming here with the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment energy, Pisces energy, Jupiter and Pisces energy. And it's catty corner here with things not, you know, being in this energy of things not being worked out. And perhaps I really feel like this is the apology that they're realizing. Maybe it's one that you thought you would never get kind of energy. Like the apology you never thought would come. Yeah, look, the two of wands. Mars and Aries energy. This is somebody, this is you literally waiting for somebody to make a decision and make a move. It could be in, in person, but that won't be for everybody. It's still the decision to wish fulfillment too. This is around the apology. And it's somebody I feel who, yeah, I do feel the wake up energy here. In our Five of Cups, look at the lack of clarity in this glass. We saw that in the Seven of Cups in reverse of them getting out of their illusions and coming to their senses and getting clarity and realizing that it was them that, that held back, pulled away, and that they, they do actually owe you an apology. They are missing you and they regret how they left things. They left you feeling like they didn't love you and that is just not true. We saw that. It's really clear in the Lover's card and the Two of Cups and both of the energies were all encompassing for me today. And what do I mean by that? I mean that, yeah, look, the King of Cups, the counterpart to you, to the Queen of Cups, Cancer, their feelings for you are, are the truth is, is that, that they do love you. They still love you. They have a lot of feelings for you. They regret not showing you. They regret running from them. They regret hiding them, not being emotionally vulnerable and honest and open. That's just been incredibly clear for leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. They really regret it. They know they owe you an apology. And by the way, you know, I was looking at this earlier and thinking it was the Five of Cups. I mean, it's the Four of Cups, Moon and Cancer energy. It's the Four of Cups and Moon and Cancer energy. And it's in reverse, you know, and I feel like this is somebody who has been watching and maybe has tried and several times, like, not like, oh, actively trying to write and you, maybe you didn't respond, but it's sort of like their own stuff, just watching and going over things in their head, kind of pulling away because they convince themselves of something. They convince themselves that it wasn't what they're realizing now that it is. And that's because it just made it easier for them to bear the loss because this person's choked up. It's been really clear. And that song is coming in. What is that song? It's um, Bradley Cooper, right? And Lady Gaga, I'm all choked up and I can't find the words. The sun goes down, music plays. 
I'll always remember us this way. This person is missing you, and I just got some really big chills. By the way, the Three of Pentacles here, too. That is a coming together energy. Everybody needs to show up there. It's like a teamwork energy, and it's really connecting to this apology. This person, I mean, in Cancer, it's just been really clear their feelings for you that they've been lying to themselves about as well. The counterpart to your energy, the Queen of Cups, is the King of Cups. They've been holding it back, hiding their feelings, repressing it. The Master of Emotions. Oh, yeah, they have a lot of feelings for you. Lots of feelings for you. <laughs> there is the Queen of Cups. So there, there it is. It's very goosebumpy, and it's in reverse, you know? So I'm going to tell you something. You'd probably be surprised to know that this person actually is pretty insecure about all of this. Is never really felt good enough and still actually doesn't. Not stopping them, of course, from having all their feelings and still wanting to connect in some way. They have been in and out, I feel like, of your life. Also, without you knowing it, like watching. And if you're connected to any people, they've definitely been talking you know, it's an unhealed energy. The Queen of Cups in reverse is, yeah, it's the lack of that. And so it's also the lack of balance around this person emotionally. The Queen of Cups, of course, the Divine Feminine Energy, and the King of Cups, the Divine Masculine Energy. So it's both the imbalance around this person's emotions, which has been really clear. It's somebody who's been repressing them. Maybe they were working a lot to hold them back, doing other things, to keep them at bay, kind of. Um, but all the feelings have always been there. They've just been holding them back, repressing them. They've been imbalanced emotionally. I know that sounds weird, but there's a really strong validation here and also in the Empress in reverse and the stagnancy around it with the death card because that's also connected to their ego. It's connected to this person from the past who is struggling with that, who is struggling with some pride and ego, but also, just even the feelings. I don't know if it's someone who doesn't normally uh, express themselves in that way or if this is just a kind of connection that they've never felt before. Look, by the way, the Page of Wands, like getting this idea to come. <laughs> it's somebody also, it's a nocturnal energy. They're, they're like staying awake. They're not sleeping. And this is the other thing, of course, that you're both here. So it's the imbalance in their emotional energies, but it's also telling me that you're both here and you are still hurt. And we saw that in the Two of Cups that your energies are still very much connected. Look, the star, Aquarius and Uranus energy connected to the crown chakra, I know. And it's not judgment, but there's a wake up energy to it. You know, the star literally in the night too, somebody who is actually spending time in the outdoors and making wishes too. But this is a lot, this is a lot of things. It's understanding the connection which they have been waking up to in the night, literally getting clarity. Okay, and excuse me, and what part they played in the fact that they actually, that's why you've been so hurt and mad, I guess you could say too, because they were just denying it. The way they left was like, like they didn't care, which was very, very hurtful for you, of course. And that's just not the case. It's, they know that you are meant to meet. It's fate. Destiny's intertwined energy. Soulmate energy is really strong. And if you're on a twin flame journey, it is very strong. Seven of Swords in reverse. This is the runner. Yeah, this is clear. Aquarius and Uranus energy, what did they lie about? Their feelings. What did they run from? Their feelings from you. They regret it. They miss you and they regret how they left things. My gosh. Yeah, this is an apology that I think somewhere in there they knew they needed to make, but they needed to and come to their senses in their own time, you know? and realize that themselves. And that's some of the page energy that's coming in, like a student energy trying to figure it out, getting this idea to move the energy of love, it's the ones. 
you know, and a wand also, of course, connected to the magician and the hermit and some cap what it's capable of. The wand, what the wand is capable of is pretty, can, is pretty intense. You know, the hermit carrying it to, to think and get clarity and truth, which has been coming through really strong. Also, just even in, in our Queen of Swords and our Seven of Cups to begin with. Also, the magician has that wand. Make a lot of magic. The page is not the magician, but it's a start. And also the rainbow energy is connecting me to the chakra. So this person trying to get into balance and get out of their shadow and ego, because this is somebody, I'm, I'm feeling like this is somebody who's not an egotistical person, but they have been in that look. They, and two of cups came back again. It's the separation. This is exactly the energy. I'm going to, this is exactly what's going on. It's very goosebumpy and it's also feeling really emotional. Ace of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's like they took away the, it's a disappointment. It's a feeling, they know they let you down. They let you down. They disappointed you. They ran. Look, Eight of Cups. This is the ghosting energy that was coming through. It's also a validation with the Seven of Swords in reverse which is more apologetic energy. It's like making amends. They know they did this. We already know all their feelings for you that, that they had, even as they were running and lying about them. So both disappointing you as they did this. In the Eight of Cups, Saturn and Pisces energy pulled away, withdrew, left you, abandoned you, really. It's what's here in the Five of Cups. They regret abandoning you and leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. Look at this. The lack of perspective, this is perspective in reverse. That's a three, divine timing, communication, growth, lack of all of that, not seeing what they were doing, not even take, not taking accountability because they were just doing whatever, overworking. Some of these people, somebody here too has been over consuming, I'm just going to say, and it could be coming from your end too, maybe both of you, but it is strong that for some of you, this person is over consuming, you could say, like, let's just say around the cups energy. That's something that I wanted to bring through a little bit earlier. And yeah, it just kind of escaped me. But it's back. The potential for that is definitely here. But this perspective energy also is connecting with the hangman too, you know, and that's just some power struggles kind of like, not writing, pulling away, really indecisive person, not doing anything about it, you know, not holding themselves accountable because, again, this is somebody who wasn't really seeing it that way, and now they are. The wake-up literal in the night is really strong, and the wake-up energy in general. And, again, here's the Two of Cups with it. This is all... This past energy that they're feeling now, it's here in the present. We saw that present card coming in. What did we see that coming in with? Was that the lovers or the two of cups? In any case, it's the present energy. It's like what happened in the past and, and what all the realizations that they're having. All the regret here for leaving you feeling like they didn't love you, for disappointing you, for being selfish, getting you here, look, in the breakup separation energy. Again, it's back, Venus in Cancer energy. That's your energy. And we know that they love you. That's already been coming through really loud and clear. And look where it went. It's also wanting to apologize here. This is also why. Obviously, it's connected to everything. This is one of the biggest apologies, probably. <laughs> Close to one of the biggest. Every energy just about is here today, Cancer. I want to get a little bit of clarity. Should they be reaching out with this apology because it sure feels like it like literally the wake up stars aligning energy perhaps something coming through when you're least expecting it but i do want to get a little bit of clarity on that that's the two of wands and the wish the nine of cups this was hanging off oracle so i just want to bring it in it's it's go uh, to the sea and that's an energy of it's kind of like Go with the flow, you know, and timing. 
assessing this situation. It's it's an energy of controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. I mean, look how it's even connecting with the feelings. So they left you feeling like they didn't love you. They left you, they, they literally, disappointment, abandonment, hurt. I mean, look, Queen of Cups in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse, Eight of Cups. I mean, it's just right there. Just even how these cards are aligning with each other. The, and there was just nothing you could control. It just kind of is the way it played out. And yeah, I don't know how much time has passed. For some of you, it could be that it's been a long time, but it could also be pretty present, the cup energy. Okay, look at what, look what is under, look what is going on here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's the Three of Swords back in the reversal. I'm telling you, this is so goosebumpy, and I think this apology is coming, Cancer. They're definitely realizing that they need to make it. This is feeling really emotional. And it's just so clear. They have not let you go. Four of Pentacles, Sun, and Capricorn energy. And also, just even in the long-term energy, somebody who's just not letting you go. What is going on here in this Four of Pentacles? Is there something else that they are trying to figure out? I think so. It's coming here also with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo, and Mercury energy. So it's both still of this energy of just kind of, yeah, some selfish energy, breadcrumbing energy, kind of not giving energy. It, it's really the past in the current energy of where things are but there's also the message here of I have I, I really haven't let you go and this is also why I'm sorry I haven't let you go I'm trying to work something out but I'm also apologizing for this because this is a stubborn energy and that's I feel like that's around the contact the lack of contact and how things were left the lovers is back the Two of Cups and the Lovers both came back and they were both all-encompassing for me and that's an energy when I'm, it's just all there. The breakup, energy, the regret, but also loving you, wanting to, to do something. And I do feel that this is the apology that you never thought would come. Look at this. So the Chariot, more of your energy, Cancer, and somebody on the move. Cancer and moon energy, the chariot is connected to the solar plexus chakra, I do. And right here with it is the knight of wands, of, of per this person getting out of trying to figure it out. And the page of wands, and look at all the rainbow energy here too. A hopeful energy of you receiving it. Look, you even see their shadow in this card. Because that's what this person has bidden. And they've also been kind of lurking in the shadows. That sounded so creepy, <laughs> but they have been. This is somebody who's been watching a lot. They are choked up. This person loves you. Cancer, <laughs> if you're watching this in real time, happy birthday, by the way. This is your season, and I'm feeling you. This is my season too, Cancer. This person loves you. This person loves you. You love this person, obviously. And I think this apology is coming. And it's been really strong in your readings, especially if you're here in real time. But whenever you're here, because you're extra on their mind during your season, during your birthday season, whether your birthday's past, it's now, or it's coming up. This is, <laughs> this is them on the move. And go to the sea. Look at this here, the two dolphins, the two of you, and this feeling, and look, the separation connected to the control what you can. Let go of what you can't. You may have given up on this person. You may have just, just thought, forget it, you know? It's clear It's clear what's gone on, gone on and Hello. where <laughs> that camera makes me crazy was just talking about the go to the sea and the chariot energy, which obviously connect with also the two of cups, your energy cancer in reverse, which is the separation. But we know your energies are flowing. We saw it coming in already, the lovers, and they're both back. But this is like waiting for them to come with the apology, maybe some more, but literally, look, two of wands waiting for them to make that decision to move forward. And here's the chariot. Major Arcana, which tells us that they are. And this energy here of letting go of it, because 
who, who like, it's like giving up, you know, connected with the separation. The Knight of Wands here, this energy again of getting out of the Page of Wands and starting to get on the move. And it's clear they're heading right for the Chariot and right for you. And here with the Lover's Card, which is back. Archangel Raphael, who just wants to heal what's broken. Connected, of course, to the Heart Chakra, both the Lover's Card and Archangel Raphael. And Archangel Raphael is also connected to the Throat Chakra I speak. They love you. You love them. And this is the apology that you gave up on. That you maybe never saw coming or you gave up on receiving. Wow, Cancer. So I'm going to bring in a little bit more Oracle. This love message just fell off. My love is for you and nobody else. Look, the lovers connected with the star. Crown chakra, I know. The lover's card. Heart chakra, I love. I know who I love. Look, king of cups. My love is for you, nobody else. Gosh, is it too little too late, this realization that they're having? Because it's just been really clear from the beginning. Let's move the energy a little more. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse. Let's see if there's anything else they want to bring through. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else Cancer needs to see, Aho. These are all yours. Blessed. Truth be told. Oh, gosh, look at that. And just also our Three of Swords back. The truth is I love you and I am sorry. And I'm sorry it's taking me so long to even acknowledge it. I want to fix what I broke. I want to make amends. I, I owe you an apology. And I miss you. And by the way, I miss you. And I, I never stopped loving you. Let's clean it up. It's like, while it's that Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's we know that things are not the Queen of Cups in reverse, that things are not cleaned up, things are not resolved. So whether this is reconciliation or closure for you, this is on their mind, though. Look, go the distance. That's like go, like they have... All the way, commitment on their mind. Look, loyal heart, the feelings here that you both have for each other. I mean, the lover's card twice, the two of cups twice, even back here waiting in reverse. Your feelings for each other are deep. Queen of cups, the king of cups as well. Owls are Scorpios, and they do hide feelings. They're secretive about it, but behind the scenes, woo, <laughs> they go deep. And they are little investigators. This person has been holding on and hiding their feelings. They've been up in the night, the nocturnal energy. They've been getting the wake-up call literally of how they feel and watching you and thinking about, yeah, realizing how much they regret how they left things and what they still owe you, what they still need to say to you, which they didn't, well, which they didn't even realize before because they were hiding everything from themselves. Our, the owl here is also, of course, a Scorpio. The truth, the motion, standing on the mask, it's opening up the window here, leading into the sky, to the divine. The heart's falling off. Look blessed. Coming right with it. Divine connection. It's connecting to the lover's card. Cancer, you're reading. My gosh. Why is this making me want to cry? It's so mates. This person is, yeah, because it's intense. We're under, we're under your sun, <laughs> Cancer. They're seeing you as their soulmate, and it's always been there, but they were hiding it from themselves. Deep knowing, yeah, that's exactly it. Look, deep knowing and truth be told, why were they hiding it? This is what you want to know, too. Why? I hope you get some answers. There is an apology here. And I feel like it, it could just be, well, yeah, that it's very unexpected. It's like someone you kind of gave up on it. Just look even how these energies connect. The, this person is getting this truth, literally also the wisdom connected with the owl and the divine and the nocturnal energy and the emotions. All of it. The deep knowing energy in the night, waking up, having realizations, epiphanies. 
what they wrecked, how they messed it up, how they left you feeling like they didn't love you, and how maybe some of you have even moved on. And they just were so busy holding it together, doing whatever they were doing, and hiding feelings, and working, and being proud, and all this stuff, and not owning it, and now they're owning it, and it's, are you on the other end? There's still a lot of unanswered questions. Look, the foundation is here still. The between you, that has not changed. It's clear. But there is no support here. It's messy, you could say, the clean it up energy there. It's stagnant, the death card in reverse, which is also Scorpio energy. And there's, you know, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. So for some of you, of course, there could be actual distance too. But that's just a lot of questions around everything. They know how they feel. And they, this is also the recognition of understanding your connection, which has also been really clear. Look, we were meant to meet. We are a faded connection. Our destinies are intertwined. You are my soulmate. I know this. I'm getting this truth. Okay. I want to bring in a little bit of channeled love messages, messages from their higher self cancer. I wish I could share my good news with you. I wish I had treated you better. Boy, there's sure a lot of wishes with this star card. Look, the star card and the, and the lovers. Also, with that five of cups, with the regret for leaving you, feeling like they didn't love you. They are missing you. And yeah, lots of regret and remorse. Guilt. Lots of guilt. They knew that you were like nobody that they know and nobody that they will ever know again. That this was something special. You. Irreplaceable you. My life is not as together as it seems. I know. Is that energy coming through? Like driving in a car? Was that today's reading? Because I'm seeing it again. It's like somebody in a car with like papers everywhere. That's like, for me, kind of uh, it's like a, and it's like a lot of things that aren't said, should be said, were said, can't say. It's like it's kind of how it's coming to me, like flying around in the car with the window open, trying to catch the papers right while driving. I don't think anyone's doing those actual things. It's just the visual of what I'm getting that's on their mind because there's a really strong line into this person's emotions today. I am so attracted to you. Okay, so they wanted to send that through as well. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. It's the Five of Cups, the Eight of Cups. All of it here, regret. I feel you even though we are apart. King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Lover's Card, Soulmates. Right here with Truth Be Told. Yeah, the emotional connection is really strong. It's like a current. I can feel it. I want I want to feel that way again. Yeah, as I say that. So these are the last ones coming in. You speak to me through music, Cancer. So there's a strong connection to music here. This person is really connected to you through music. Playing music, playlists. Perhaps some of you are musicians too. But it's really strong expressing themselves through it, telepathic energy. So if you're picking up on songs, hearing hearing songs and, and feeling like you're connecting with your person cancer, that's them sending it. The telepathic energy here is really off the charts. I remember every detail of that day. So is this around something specific? Because it's here with the Seven of Swords in reverse and, and making amends energy around that. So some running, some lying truth by omission, you were the best thing in my life, and I can't stop thinking about you. Truth be told, soulmates, lovers, two of cups, both having come back, the king of cups, the queen of cups, my gosh. The 
tarot closet channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. I listen to our song on repeat. Okay, yeah, there's, what is that song? It's right here with soulmate. You are my soulmate. I was a complete jerk. My gosh. Cancer, you're reading. I want a girl with you, Cancer. That's the go the distance energy. So this hasn't, isn't something that they stopped thinking about. And something just fell. Come back to me. I fell in love with you. It's going here with the star and the lover. So come back to me, this energy. Also, if perhaps you are pulled away, they've seen or heard something or know something, I'm getting it together so you can be mine. Someday I am coming for you. At night I talk to you, hoping you receive my messages. This has been really strong, and they're sending them through music particularly. It's particularly strong. Believe it, I love you, and know I am not over you. This got left behind. We belong together. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, energy. Lovers, Two of Cups. The Tarot Closet, love messages. I made so many mistakes. Tear with. One of them being that they were not acknowledging the connection in the end, you know. They were really, it's like they went into some kind of zone just to get themselves to believe it. I don't know why, but you are the love of my life. It's kind of like, as even as I was leaving, I didn't want to. In fact, that energy was already coming in here, wasn't it? Please never give up on us. I am so lost without you. I care too much what people think, so third party energy. Can you feel my love, Cancer? I can feel their love. It's palpable, Cancer. The tarot closet channeled love messages, more love notes. What do you want to say? Oh, they want to say a lot. Okay. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I'm sorry. I made so many mistakes. Everything reminds me of you. You speak to me through music. We were destined to meet. It's fate and destiny. There is so much left unsaid. Do you still love me, Cancer? Believe it, I love you. Do you still love me? I was stupid. I made so many mistakes. It's I was stupid for letting you go, energy. My heart belongs to you. Look, we belong together. You are my person. You are the love of my life. You are my soulmate. Soulmates, lovers, two of cups. Loyal hearts, king of cups, queen of cups. I love you. Here it is again. I love you. Do you still love me? No one compares to you, Cancer. We were meant to meet. You are my person. And I had got here. It wanted me to bring this through. I listened to our song on repeat. So they're really listening to something over and over. And I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. So there's some, a particular moment that you can recall, Cancer. Do you miss me too? I miss you. Do you miss me too? That was already coming through. I'm not sure where that went. I'm going to leave it here, okay? I've never felt like this. I was stupid is here again. Come back to me, three of swords in reverse. Whew. Okay, Cancer, <laughs> this was emotional. This is your last.
channeled love message, message from their higher self. Okay, yeah, I like this because this has been a really strong realization of the apology they owe you. I'm so sorry I hurt you. And my throat chakra is getting all crackly again. They're, they're getting choked up and they're choking me up here. <laughs> this is sincere cancer. I'm so sorry I hurt you. Beautiful Cancer, that's your reading today. It's been my honor. Emotional. <laughs> it's time to close the reading. Thanks for joining me. Please don't forget to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Turn on those notifications so you know when your readings are coming. Thanks again. I look forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then.